Hi guys, so this video is about how to um, determine the probability of certain events occurring from a probability histogram. Okay, so we've got our histogram here and this shows the probability of, um, from a survey of people owning CDs in the years 17 to 18. Um, so for question A, we're asked to find the probability of choosing someone at random who has 30 to 40 CDs. So the first step we need to do is work out what the probability is of having 30 to 40 CDs from our um, probability histogram. So we need to um, have a look at where 30 to 40 falls on our histogram. So that's here, this bar. Okay, and now that we know that, we know what each individual unit is worth for our probability. So it's 0 0.02, so that's the per unit frequency times by the number of units that we have. So 30 to 40, so that's 11 units in total because remember we are counting 30 as a number. So then we have 0 0.02 times 11 and that is going to give us 0 0.22 or 22% as our probability of getting 30 to 40 CDs. Okay, so for B, the number from 210 who would have fewer than 20 CDs. So again, we need to work out the probability of having less than 20 CDs. And that's going to be equal to looking at these two sections here. Okay, so our first one from our first bar is just below 0 0.005. So let's call that... 0.004 and again how many bars do we have so if we're counting from um, have fewer than 20 so we're not going to count 20 so 10 to 19 is 10 so times 10 and then plus and then the last bar there let's call that 0 0.001 and again, from 0 to 9, because we already counted 10, remember, is also 10. And then we put that in our calculator. And that is going to equal 0 0.014 or 1.4%. So the probability of having less than 20 CDs is 1.4%. Um, and we've got 210 people. So we want to know how many people there would be. So expected frequency equals our probability of having less than 20 times our number of people. So that's going to be um, 0 0.014 times 210 which that's going to equal 2.94 so therefore approximately two people have less than 20 CDs okay um, and then you do C in exactly the same way um, so you can go about doing that one Thanks guys, so that's how you determine information from a probability histogram.